A business, a Center County sanitation worker was employed by is being fined after his death earlier this year. Brooke Owens was able to talk with the man's mother about her emotions throughout the year and her reaction to the fine. It was straight out of a movie. That's how the mother of a sanitation worker that died on the job just on the street here in Port Matilda Borough described learning about the situation. And nearly six months later, she says it hasn't gotten easier. On January 17th, 38 year old Nathan Kerstetter was on the back of a Newman Hill garbage truck. And along the route in Port Matilda, the driver that state police identify as Dennis Butler backed into a tree. Kerstetter was pronounced dead at the scene with blunt force trauma to the head. His mother, Kelly, says when she was told about the incident, she didn't believe what authorities were saying could be true. I had just been talking to my son the day before, and then. He's gone the next day, and the next day I'm planning his funeral. The emotions were raw. The emotions are still raw. Um, it doesn't get better. I have my bad days and my not so bad days. I cried for hours last night, so it, it's, it's, it's really not gotten any easier. She says Newman Hill garbage trucks going by her home weekly hasn't made the healing process easier. Those sightings so and seeing them here are not gonna go away for a long time. So that's, that's a hard thing. That's a hard thing for me to, to go through every week. Now the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, is fining Newman Hill just over $16,000 following a crash report citing the truck driver for careless backing into a roadway. Do I think $16,000 is enough? No. But is any amount of money enough? Is enough that you can't put a price tag on your child's head and nothing's going to bring him, no amount of money is going to bring him back. We reached out for comment from Newman Hill, but have not heard back. In Center County, I'm Brock Owens.